My Hero Academia, Season 6, Counter Episode 15. Maximum Security Special Prison, also known as Tartarus. Something tells me Tartarus is at capacity right now. Those imprisoned here have terrifying quirks. And CG ceilings. Inmates are split among six cell blocks that reflect how severe a criminal's offenses were and the danger their abilities pose. It's My Hero Academia's Arkham Asylum. It's said that no one sent here will ever leave alive. Oh boy. <laughs> Where have I heard that before? He's getting out. But I'm not giving the world time to recover. It's my turn now. This, my turn yeah, this forever. is so important, I feel. This is going to develop into something. Well, my tireless Nomu. It's time to give you an important task. Spinner's conflicted. This could split my villain academia into factions. There are a lot of idealists in that group. And notably, one of their values is unity. <laughs> All for one is one of those people who's really charming and is good at using people's desires and dreams to foster allegiance. But you watch them long enough, you realize how hollow it is. It's all for one. So, brother, you hear that Endeavor let Tomura Shigaraki escape? Is that the narrative? Guarding this place is an important, honorable duty. Best thing we can do is keep a strong front here. Yeah, yeah, I know. This guy's tired of this conversation. <laughs> what set those off? Control room, come in. The timing of that conversation, though. This is all happening so quickly. They're like already attacking the prison, wasting no time. We've got Nomu out here. Not sure how many, but I think they killed my brother. This is code red. No time. Authorize counter protocol. The raid arc is over, but the casualties continue. Such feeble resistance. He's just out and about. He's out and about. I thought there was going to be a little bit of a break. I thought he was going to recover, take some time to recoup, heal your wounds, give me some time to emotionally heal. Class gets together for some heartwarming moments, tug it out, etc. Instead, we get episode 15, Tartarus. Just the war escalating. All for one slash Shigaraki just gallivanting around town. Should have killed him in the field. How would you propose they do that? Hit him with a missile? We don't just blow people up. I mean, the guy's still human. How do you call him that with a straight face? This guy's an idealist, speaking just of which. walking monstrosity. True heroic spirit. I'm just speaking the truth. I'm sure a lot they of people look agree. like you and me on the surface, mostly. But we only call them human because quirks warped our perceptions so badly. They're fundamentally different from us normal people. It's another reminder in media that goodness is not about which side you're on. They're attacking here now of all times? That's what I said. The bridge is going under starting with section A01. That's not gonna help. We got a quirk for that. We got a quirk for all of this. For everything. Every situation has a quirk. All for one has it all. Are we ever gonna see Shigaraki back? Like, fully in control? It just seems like All for One's running the entire show now. I told you before, Master. He's still struggling. This is my body, not yours. This was a long time coming, though. This betrayal. You're the one who wanted my power, Tomura. You abhor this cruel world that didn't reach out a hand to help you. I'm getting Cowboy Bebop vibes right now. I will not be your pawn. My dear boy, you have the wrong idea. You're a treasure in my eyes. Someone else <laughs> to lift up. Yes, look how much I love you. You are the next me. Shigaraki quickly becoming disillusioned. You would think. You would hope. Tartarus is all but impenetrable from the outside. Of course. There is always a way. Power is fluctuating. Was it like an EMP burst? Right, he did that before in the raid arc. The attack came from the inside. That is so overpowered. Him being both inside and outside Tartarus at the same time. This shouldn't be possible. There's just no way to keep villains in, keep people in, in a quirk-based society with technology alone. There's just way too many variables. It's just as you said, All Might. You put me away forever. There's no way I can escape. Unless there's perfect synchronicity between the me who's locked away and the one inside Tomura's head. I mean, All for One has a lot of bad qualities. Take your pick. It's like all of them. But maybe his most impressive trait is patience. It seems like he's just been faithfully waiting for this moment. According to regulations, if an inmate takes one step outside their cell, they can be shot down. Get your weapons. This ready. is the moment he's been waiting for. <laughs> oh god. You'll have to try harder than that to kill me. Now start talking. Oh wait, I Yeah, I remember him. Wait, wait, I'm remembering quickly, right? This is the guy Deku fought to save that whiny kid. I can't remember, did he lose that eye to Deku? The 
security system isn't kicking in, even though oh, a lot of familiar faces house. being released into the wild. Even more of what we had built becoming undone. Where is Pops? Whoa! Overhaul is out. Whoa, that's insane. This is already epic enough, and now we get a, a greatest hits reunion. Honestly, right now, my imagination is running wild because there's so many ways this could go. One bizarre direction that this could take is a Dragon Ball-esque prior villain turning hero ally, if you know what I mean. An enemy becomes a friend. Overhaul it not, Shigaraki's the biggest fan. What do we do now? We can't leave if there's no bridge. No stopping! Not till I stand on free ground again. Let's not forget the most dangerous villain of all, Kangaroo. I want you to stand by my side in the era of chaos Occupying horizon, two bodies right now, in a way. You will bear witness to the story of how I became the greatest demon lord this world has known. When you get to watch yourself be the main character. For the first time we see the same person twice in the mid cards. All for one hijacked an emergency aircraft using a staff member's biometric ID. It's unbelievable how, qu how quickly this happened. He was free. I thought this was gonna be like a whole arc, like getting the villains together, figure out a plan. Nope, this went right for it. Same day. On his orders, they went on to attack seven different prisons and released a large number of criminals from six of them. They have a whole new army now. What a thrilling 24 hours. I released as many prisoners <gasps> oh, it hurts. as possible to confuse those who would hunt me. And they're totally unopposed too, because all the heroes are in the hospital or dead. Shigaraki and I had a lot in common. Games and stuff. How you feeling, Spinner? How you doing? Bane's ideology inspired me. Mm hmm We had great ideas, if not follow through. Mm -hmm. All wanting to crush this world. We still haven't located Toga. I wanted to see what Shigaraki could pull off. The future he could craft. Maybe you shouldn't be saying this out loud right now. So who the hell are you? You're not the person I chose. Oh no, I'm worried for Spinner. My loyalty is to him, Tomura Shigaraki. You don't don't you don't openly oppose Please trust that I respect Tomura's feelings above everything else. Big doubt. I'll take one for all and reign forever. I will be its absolute ruler. All for one has that Heihachi fit. Demon Lord. What can they accomplish in 48 hours after seeing what they accomplished in 24? <gasps> My first positive feelings so far this episode. Deku. Whoa! <laughs> His first thought was of Deku's safety. Love it. Interestingly, in that episode, when he sacrificed himself, there was a debate that I didn't expect that was saying that Baku actually really hates Deku. I mean, I'll definitely say that Bakugo's feelings towards Deku are probably really complex. I find it hard, given what I've seen, especially recently, and even like farther back in prior seasons, that he doesn't actually really care about Deku. It doesn't seem like cold, calculating reasoning that one for all is really important for the world. Deku and Todoroki, Mr. Aizawa, Endeavor... And all the others. We're all alive. We're all alive. Everybody? We'll live to fight another day. I'll tell you, okay? But you gotta try to stay calm. It could have been so much worse. It could have been so much worse. I no longer have a son. I'm not a mother anymore, Sorohiko. I never was. And so it began. You have Lock Lock and the first responders to thank for prioritizing your lives. Try not to worry about anything that's happened. Focus on your own recovery. Thank you for taking your time out of the Mario universe. We did what we were supposed to do. Fought with our lives on the line, and this is still how things turned out. We let Kayama and the others die. Let's not do this now. Tell me how the students are holding up. It's gut-wrenching to watch them go through this because everything he just said is true. I think the very thing that makes the hero so great in the show is also a pitfall for them because they're the kind of people who take responsibility to do their best. They're willing to sacrifice everything they have for the sake of others or upholding their ideals. They never make excuses and they always put everything on their own shoulders. But that means they walk a, a really dangerous line blaming themselves for things that are not their fault. It was the aggressors that were at fault. In my eyes, they're the ultimate heroes but it's easy to understand how, from their perspective, they let everyone down. I also think the greatest depths of sadness and depression come from a feeling of loss of control. You know, like you, you want to be able to think you can impact your life for the positive, that you can protect yourself, protect the people you care about, uphold the things that are important to you. I think even in the most terrible situations, if you see signs of hope, if you see ways in which you're improving, or you feel like you have a grasp of the situation, it feels manageable. But it's when disaster strikes that, that reveal areas of total helplessness. It's a shock because mentally it just destroyed your whole worldview of what you were and what you're able to do, and also greatly increases your estimation of what 
the danger is in life. Along that vein, this is going to be a really horrible period for them as they sit helplessly in the hospital, waiting to heal up so they can do anything. Especially while the, the villain rampage has not slowed down one bit, it seems. There's like a mob of people out there. Call me crazy, but I'm pretty sure they're not here to thank us. It feels like the whole country's on edge. Dire times. Understandable. <laughs> Out of all that, what they took away was that Endeavor's terrible. All the deaths. Did you know about your brother? What's Endeavor's current condition? Wow, the perspective is not there. Who wants to know more about the Todoroki family? When will your father have a press conference? Our viewers the whole world is fa falling we apart and it's like everyone's on an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Off, blinds you. He will be the demise of our world. Oh, that dude, that dude did say it. <laughs> His heat was so intense, stronger than my old man's, too strong. Flames of hatred, that's what they were. He's been watching this whole time. He's really utilizing that dark side magic. Toya is me. The reason I picked a fight with you was to show my old man what I was capable of doing. Yeah, he was on that path too. Our father can't stop Toya. I have to be the one to handle my brother. Shoto. He's been there already. Hello. He's been there and back. I told you not to get up. You could die. Just stop. You're the worst patient. We're not supposed to let you leave your room. Let him go. Just let him do it. Let him live. Everyone else has regained consciousness except... How you doing, All Might? The doctor said Midoriya hasn't shown any signs of waking up. If he dies, I'll kill him. <laughs> what a Bakugo thing to say. Nah, he's getting up. That doesn't worry me at all. There's no real dramatic tension there. Ooh, I'm getting a real feeling in this latter part of the episode about like unfinished business, unfinished history. It's both from Gran Torino. Not to say what they did was wrong, her distancing herself from her family. She was doing what she thought was right, but there's definitely legacy there. They have a connection to the past in a very Obi-Wan, Anakin type way. Same with Endeavor and Todoroki and Dabi. It's the sins of the past come back around. And even though all parties involved that I just mentioned have done tremendous growth and probably see things radically differently, you can feel the pull of destiny. It's not even about blame. It's just what's going to be burning in their hearts because they care. They were there. They can implicate their actions in what's come to pass. They have the power to affect the change. Despite the evil that's formed, they undoubtedly have positive connections there. They want to see positive outcomes for the people they've affected. They're too involved to turn a blind eye. They're just too deeply connected, too deeply involved. And inevitably, the people they're looking to save contain answers for themselves. I think it's very fitting that Todoroki flashed back to Deku because Deku was the one who created sort of an awakening in him. It's your quirk, not his. He said those same lines to Dabi in their fight. But now him having that awareness Deku having lit the fire for him gives him the opportunity to do it for his older brother. Which doesn't mean Dabi is going to be saved or redeemed, but it does mean there will probably be some, some emotional closure for both of them. And it seems like they're building up towards something like that with Gran Torino as well. Gran Torino is suffering, haunted by things he's done in the past and things he's seen. I will say though, as dark as this episode was, and as much as it's pretty horrifying, the villains are continuing their rampage and actually getting stronger. It was nice to at least get a bit of a reunion in the hospital with some of the students. To see them kind of regrouping. I think that will be the turning point in feeling for the show. The villains are not stopping. It's going to be a dark world for a while. We're in a period of darkness. But as soon as the villains heal up and get on their feet and are able to start acting, I feel like it's going to mean the world to them and is going to satiate some of that restlessness and that pain they're feeling right now just sitting around helplessly watching the news. Just being able to feel like you're taking steps towards something takes care of some of the, the greatest depths of pain.